Hey y'all, well I'm back from Texas, back home. Paisley was mildly interested in seeing me, um, but I had a good time. I got to uh, spend time with my ex-husband and meet a bunch of his, new fr his friends out there in Dallas that I had never met, and we went to dinner and they wanted to, of course, hear about some of the stories of when we were married. And so I told them a story I hadn't even told y'all yet. I told them a story of our first Christmas together. Well, Brian had been working at a dental office, and he had decided that he was going to make a robe for uh, one of the girls in the office that he really liked, and I knew her. Well, the whole time he was making it, I was the model because I was about the same size as she was. So as he's making this robe and it's beautiful white terry cloth outside and I was saying, oh, this is nice. Now she's gonna appreciate this because when you're a short person, it's very hard to find a robe that doesn't just swallow you whole. So this is gonna be a great gift, Brian. You're so talented. That's just wonderful. But then he went to put the inside in it and he chose this green, bright green, like fur, Kermit the Frog looking stuff. And when he put that in and pinned it and wanted me to try it on again, I was like, ooh, Brian, this is, the outside is so, nobody's gonna want this, this grain, it looks like Kermit the Frog, that you just ruin it. I just don't think anybody's gonna really want that. I wouldn't wear it. Maybe she will, but I wouldn't want that. Well, cut to Christmas morning, and my gift was a robe that he had lovingly made me. It was a very difficult thing to make. And I pulled it out of the box and I was mortified and felt so bad of all those things that I had said about it. He goes, well, that's okay. You don't have to keep it. I'll give it to somebody else. I said, no, no, I will love this robe because you made it for me. And I'm so sorry and I'm so embarrassed. You must've felt awful the whole time you were made. He goes, yeah, after you said that, it was very hard to finish it because I knew you were going to hate it. <laughs> that is a good reminder to keep your mouth shut. When somebody's working hard on something, you ain't got to tell them everything you think. And I learned that lesson for sure that Christmas. But you know, I made it up to him. I gave him a MacBook that Christmas. <laughs> so, but we had a lot of good Christmases, but that one sticks out in my mind is when I learned you ain't got to say everything that you think all the time and be grateful that somebody is so nice and so talented that they can make something for you. So that was awful sweet. I still didn't wear that robe though.